This will be an unboxing of the Google Pixel 4 XL. Now I want to give a special shout out to Google for sending this over. Hashtag gift from Google. Let's dive right in. Making help magical. Hashtag made by Google. Now this is like the press kit that they sent. So your unboxing might differ, but check this out how it opens. Pretty cool. And then helpful gift for you. Check that out. Pause the video if you want to read that. And then another message on this part of the box. Go ahead and check that out. If I can get it to focus, there you go. All right, so definitely a unique unboxing experience here. Here's the Pixel 4 XL. Check that out, put that to the side. And then what do we have here? Wax paper, put that to the side. And then here we have another item. I think that says Google. Oh, the Pixel 4 XL case, nice. Very nice. Put that to the side and then, all right, cool. Put that to the side and then, let's see, this is the packaging. P4, that says Goo and then GLE, Google. Pixel 4 XL, Google right there. On the bottom is uh, all blank. All right, do we have any, um, do I need my blade or if I remember correctly, yup. These seals here, you can just grab this tab and just pull on it like so. No knife is necessary for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, undo that. And then um, here it is. And this is the, looks like they gave me the Panda version, the white. What's the unique name? I forget. Is it clearly white or is it just cloud white or something? Whatever. I forgot what they called it, but. Take that off. This is the phone. Nice. Check out that camera setup in the back. Google branding right there. Matte black finish. Yeah, I'm digging the matte black on the side. Very nice. And then I'm gonna get in here, check out the camera hump. Got this uh, orange or is it salmon colored power button? Definitely gives a nice contrast, pretty cool. And then that's your SIM tray. On the bottom, USB type C. And then one of this is a speaker and the other one might be just for looks. And then you have your sensors up here front facing camera, your radar sensor, etc. Your piece as well. Mic up here. What else am I missing? And the aforementioned power button, volume rocker. Feels really good to hold. Nice. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. Pixel 4 XL. There you have it. Let that boot up and let, let's explore the packaging. Throw that to the side and here, Seems like, based on this logo, SIM ejection tool. So let's uh, have a look. SIM ejection tool, some visual instructions on how to use the tool. And then your pamphlets and stuff, which nobody reads. There's your adapter to transfer stuff from another phone to the Pixel. Charging cable, C to C, right? Yup, USB C to C. And then, this is the brick. USB type C and then I'm gonna try to get in here. If you wanna read the specs, there you go. Cool, that's it in the box. Would've been nice to get some headphones, but it's all good or a dongle at least, but that's all right. And then here it is. Pretty big forehead as you can see. But I have to be honest though, oh, what's this? Oh, the little thing, yeah. But I would have to be honest though, I'd rather have a forehead than a notch. Yeah, I'd much prefer this, if I'm being purely honest. Okay, hi there, I'm gonna go ahead and do start and then connect to mobile network. I don't have that right now, so I'm just gonna skip, but I will connect to Wi-Fi. Can I adjust the brightness? Nope, not yet, so hopefully you can see that in the camera. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and type in my password. This may take a few minutes. Here we go, copy apps and data. 
I want a fresh clean start. So I'm gonna say don't copy anything. Checking information. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and type in my stuff. All right, we're back in it. Back up to Google Drive, nope. Use location, nope. Allow scanning, nope. No on the diagnostics, accept. And then I guess I have to accept this. And then let's skip the screen lock for now. We'll do that later. And what is this? Continue setup. Leave and get reminder. Uncheck all of this just because. Uncheck that too. I can always add it later if I want. Adding finishing touches. And then go home. Swipe up from the bottom of your screen. Yeah, the new gesture with Android 10. Switch apps. There you go, a little tutorial. Next, go back. That's how you do it. Next. All set. You're ready to start using your phone and then swipe up to get started. So you can see, welcome to your new Pixel. And we are in. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and um, turn on the brightness just a little bit so you can see a little bit better right there. As you can see. All right, cool. So I want to go to settings real quick to check out A, the storage right out of the box. So let's do that right now. And go ahead and go to storage. And this one is a 128 gig model and 13.3 used out of the 128. So do the math, that's how much space you get out of the box for the 128 gig model, which I highly recommend you get. 64 gigs, it may not be enough in 2019. Get the 128. Go back, so go ahead and check out the Android. Now, obviously this is a Pixel, so latest version of Android 10. So let's go check that out real quick. You can see Android version 10. Now, if I click on that, Android 10, and then let's go here. So you can see, you can move the numbers around. Can you move the Android around? Yes, you can. So you can have fun with this. And the phone, <laughs> I can feel the vibration going crazy when you do this, so pretty cool. All right, so this phone, has no fingerprint scanner of any sort, not under the display and not your capacitive scanner on the back of the phone any longer. The only biometric is face unlock. This radar sensor here does the face unlock. So let's go ahead and test that out, right? Meow. All right, so here's the, uh, the face unlock, so you can see. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Scanning my face, telling me to rotate my head, which I am doing right meow. So it gets a full 360 of your mug, and then check this out. <laughs> Looks good and gives you a little happy face with a green check mark. That's funny. And then here we go, unlocking your phone, app sign-in and, sign and payments, and the skip the lock screen. So after face unlock, go directly to the last use screen so you can set that on and off if you want. I'll just leave it on for now. And that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and we'll give this a run right now. So here's the phone. And then all you gotta do is go like this. Turn it on and then I'm gonna look at it right now and it's unlocked, as you can see. I'm gonna do that again. So here's the phone, off. And I'm just gonna look at it. Hella fast, very nice. So the phone is completely off, with always on display, so I'm just gonna look at it right now. And the phone turns on, look at that. So do I like it and not have a fingerprint scanner at all? Well, I don't know if I'm gonna take it that far yet. I mean, it's nice to have a second biometric, like fingerprint scanner, etc. but first impressions of this face unlock, it's pretty nice, it's pretty cool, pretty nice, I like it. All right, so just a few things and settings that I like to tweak, always on display. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and then always on, go ahead and turn that on. So that's your always on display. I'm gonna go back and also now I'm gonna search for the, uh, the motion sensing. So motion, motion sense. So here it is, as you can see, motion sense and I'm gonna turn that on. So with this you can skip songs and also you can silence the phone by when your hand approaches it. So that's pretty cool. So go ahead and turn that on. So of course we have to test out the camera on this phone. So let's go ahead and open the camera app and then I'm gonna deny this. And then here we go. Go ahead and take some shots here of just whatever's on my desk. Take a shot of that, take a shot of this. And then let's see. And take a shot of that too. Here's a real quick video sample of the Pixel 4 XL. This is in 4K, 30 frames per second, as you can see. So I'm just here at my unboxing table. You can see all this stuff. Let me know what you think of the, um, the audio 
and the video quality, taking it back here, etc. There you go. Went ahead and turned on the system wide dark mode, which is pretty cool. And I have to say the 90 hertz display on this, just scrolling through the app drawer, this motion right here. And then let's see, let's go to settings. I'm gonna go to settings so I can like scroll and it's very smooth. I love it. Yeah, the, the difference between 60 hertz and the 90, yeah, it's a substantial difference. Super smooth makes the user experience or using this phone, that experience, just wonderful, yeah. Yeah, the 90 hertz, definitely a major factor in the enjoyment of using this phone. I love it. So I went ahead and went into YouTube and let's go ahead and test out the speakers and play the song I always play. So you do have a dual speaker set up on this phone, earpiece and the bottom firing speaker. And I have to say from that short clip, sounds pretty clean. I like it. And I'm also digging this matte white finish on the back, means no fingerprints. Very nice. Take a closer look at the camera array here. You have two cameras, one normal camera and one 2X optical zoom, flash. Would have liked to seen that wide angle camera lens though. Oh, well, maybe next year. We have to check out the case that Google gave me. So, so go ahead and unbox this one as well. It's cool that they include tabs on the tape so you don't have to like use a knife. And whoa, check this out. That to the side, look at that. Pretty cool design right here. Wow, got a fabric finish. So no fingerprints on this case, which is a benefit. Got the salmon colored power button and the Google logo. Nice contrast. And then on the inside, whoa, look at that. Got this felt material here. Very soft, will not scratch your phone. And then here it says Google Pixel 4. And then whatever that is. And the salmon color. I'll be honest, I kind of dig it. And then let's check out the power button. Yeah, that matches perfectly. We'll go ahead and just slap the four in and just slides right in the phone. Test out the power. Works as it should. Feels good to hold. And then we'll take a look at the front lip. And it gives you a nice amount of lip. And then the bottom is wide open though, so easy access to your charging port, etc. And then in the back, We'll take a look. Cut out for your camera array. Cool. So that's the case for the Pixel 4 XL. So let's compare it real quick to the Pixel 3 XL from last year. So you can see much different design language on this year's phone. They went away from the one third of the glass, clear glass and the frosted glass that they've been doing on the first three to this design right here. Same Google logo on the bottom though. So from the back and from the front, compared to displays. From the side, roughly about the same thickness, same height. Put that to the side and then where did I put my um, 3A? Here's my 3A. Here it is against the 3A XL. A little bit of a different shade of a white on the um, 3A, like a blue tint to it. And again, with the, the 3A has the one third clear glass and then the rest is frosted look. Your capacitor fingerprint scanner on the 3A, I'm gonna flip it over, go ahead and compare the displays and go ahead and put in my pattern. Go ahead and compare the display. And I'd have to say I much prefer the notchless look even, even though if it has like a nice forehead, much prefer the notchless look than the Android notch on the uh, 
XL. You can't really tell I have dark wallpaper. Well, it's why I have a dark wallpaper, but yeah. So let me know in the comments below what you want me to do with the Pixel 4 XL. Speed tests, camera tests for sure, versus maybe last year's Pixel phones, camera test. Also versus the iPhone 11 Pro Max, do a camera test also with that. Also a camera test, this phone versus the uh, Note 10 Plus. Let me know in the comments below if you wanna see that comparison. And before I forget, let me go ahead and grab my 11 Pro Max. Give me a second. All right, so here's my uh, 11 Pro Max, as you can see. Very similar design language as far as the location of the camera array, etc. So let me know in the comments if you wanna see a camera comparison between this 4XL and the 11 Pro Max. So once again, I wanna give a special shout out to Google, hashtag Team Pixel, hashtag gift from Google for sending this phone over. I love the matte black border. I love the contrasty power button. They've been doing that for years. Yeah, overall, I kind of like it. Yeah, it's cool. Thanks for watching. Peace out.